Phrasal verbs. The key to socializing in English. Hello learners. We're back with another lesson on phrasal verbs. Today, we'll be diving into an exciting topic. Phrasal verbs for socializing and relationships. Phrasal verbs can seem daunting, but they're essential to sound fluent and natural in English. So, let's enhance our conversational skills and dive right in. Before we get into specifics, let's quickly recap what phrasal verbs are. Phrasal verbs are unique phrases consisting of a verb and another element, either an adverb or a preposition, or sometimes both. For example, look up, or put off. The meaning of a phrasal verb can be quite different from the verb it includes, which can make them challenging to learn, but all the more fun. When we meet new people, we often use phrases to describe how the encounter went. Here are some examples. 1. Hit it off, to quickly become good friends with someone. 2. Example. I met Jenny at a conference and we immediately hit it off. 3. Run into, to meet someone by chance. 4. Example. I ran into my old teacher at the supermarket today. 5. Break the ice, to start a conversation with someone for the first time. 6. Example. I broke the ice by asking about his favorite movies. When talking about relationships, here are some handy phrasal verbs. 1. Fall for, to fall in love. 2. Example. I think I'm falling for her. 3. Make up, to reconcile after a fight. 4. Example. We had a big argument, but we made up in the end. 5. Drift apart, to become less close to someone. 6. Example. We were best friends in high school, but we've drifted apart over the years. Let's look at some common phrasal verbs we use at social events. 1. Hang out, to spend time with someone. 2. Example. We used to hang out at the coffee shop after class. 3. Catch up, to talk with someone about what you have done since you last saw each other. 4. Example. We should catch up sometime. It's been too long. 5. Turn up. To arrive or appear at a place or an event. 6. Example. I invited him to the party but he didn't turn up. That wraps up our session on phrasal verbs for socializing and relationships. Remember. The best way to learn and remember these phrasal verbs is to use them in your daily conversations. So, don't hesitate to use these verbs next time you're socializing or talking about your relationships. Keep practicing and you'll sound like a native English speaker in no time. See you in our next video. Happy learning!